Hello YouTube. As some of you might remember, I beat all 25 zones in the previous build of Besiege with one 5 block machine that I called World on a String. But some new zones were just added that rendered that machine obsolete. There's one zone that requires a water cannon, which is one of the heaviest blocks in the game, so trying to make that work with a minimal blimp was an interesting task. There's also a zone in which the machine has to lift a huge sword, which requires more lift than one flying spiral and one balloon can provide. So with that in mind, I introduce my 8 block machine that can beat all 30 current zones, which I call 8 Up. I built it entirely within the game's normal build mode, and I used some tricks to make it as effective as I could. The framerate placement glitch let me place blocks where they intersect other blocks and I used wheels to get half spacing and wing panels to get quarter spacing. Links to more information about those building techniques and to the Steam Workshop entry for 8up will be in the description. Please check it out. If nothing else, I think you'll enjoy the machine's custom thumbnail. And if you like it, please give 8up a thumbs up. I beat the hardest zones with an earlier version that had the flying spirals on top and both the flying spirals and the balloons at the very front of the starting block. But I started over when I realized I could make the machine more stable by placing the flying spirals lower to lower the center of mass. I originally moved the fans and balloons back a quarter of a block length to keep the fans from interfering with the water cannon, but as it turns out, the handling is better that way anyway. That's about all I have to say for now, so enjoy the rest of the playthrough.
This is the first of the new zones, called Odd Contraption. I really like the dramatic sound effect at the end. It makes me wonder if the wheel in this zone activates something in a future zone. The next new zone is called Dion Well. The poison jugs are physically smaller than the wood bundles in zone 12, so their center of mass is higher when carrying them with this machine. Couple that with a smaller margin for error for hitting the target checkpoint, and this zone becomes a lot harder than I anticipated. This zone is called Surrounded. It's actually not as bad as it looks, since the cannons don't aim, and they hesitate long enough for you to fly away. Plus, it doesn't take much force to destroy the cannons. The zone after this is the reason I've been lugging a water cannon this whole time. Sacred Flame. I was kind of hoping I could stamp out the fire without needing water, in the same way I can cut down the crops in Zone 22 without a blade. But, no such luck. Come to think of it, this zone would have been a lot easier if it were still raining. Now we come to the final zone, Argus's Grounds. This is certainly one of the more beautiful zones in Besiege. Pulling a huge sword from a stone is a poetic and satisfying way to end the 30 zone journey. Thank you for watching, and please remember to visit the Steam Workshop link below for 8up.